Welcome to Flix Water YouTube channel. Startling findings have emerged from the 2017 to 2019 water quality reports of 127 utilities serving 770,000 people across 23 U.S. states. Pedichlorobenzene, a concerning chemical compound, has been detected in these water supplies. This video explores the implications of this contamination, examining its potential health risks, sources, and the regulatory landscape overseeing water quality standards in the affected regions. Before we start, can you please click the subscribe button below, we really need your support to develop this channel and publish more and more videos, just one click on the subscribe button, you are helping us and we really appreciate it. Again, we really need your help, please click on the subscribe button below. Thank you. Pedichlorobenzene is a chemical compound that has found its way into the public consciousness due to its presence in various household products, such as mothballs, toilet bowl fresheners, and air fresheners. While it serves as an effective moth repellent and deodorizer, concerns arise when this chemical contaminant makes its way into water sources. Pedichlorobenzene is a chemical compound with a melting point of approximately 53.5 degrees Celsius, 128.3 degrees Fahrenheit. This white crystalline solid is known for its limited solubility in water, typically around 5 to 10 mg per liter at room temperature. While it has some degree of solubility, pedichlorobenzene tends to preferentially partition into other environmental compartments, such as soil and sediment, rather than remaining extensively dissolved in water. Pedichlorobenzene, a member of the chlorobenzene class, is a white crystalline solid with a distinctive sweet odor. Its chemical structure consists of two chlorine atoms attached to a benzene ring. Widely used in household products, this compound is known for its effectiveness in repelling moths and eliminating odors. Prolonged exposure to elevated levels of pedichlorobenzene may pose health risks. Studies indicate potential adverse effects on the liver, kidneys, and nervous system. It becomes crucial to monitor and regulate the levels of pedichlorobenzene in water to protect public health. Pedichlorobenzene can enter water sources through various pathways. Industrial discharges, runoff from treated surfaces, and the improper disposal of products containing pedichlorobenzene contribute to its presence in water. Understanding these sources is essential in developing effective strategies for contamination prevention. To safeguard public health, regulatory agencies, such as the Environmental Protection Agency, EPA, set standards for acceptable levels of contaminants in drinking water, including pedichlorobenzene. These guidelines serve as a benchmark for water quality, and utilities are required to monitor and adhere to these standards. Water utilities play a crucial role in ensuring the safety of drinking water. Regular monitoring of water sources for pedichlorobenzene contamination is essential. When elevated levels are detected, water treatment measures are implemented to remove or reduce the concentration of the chemical, safeguarding the quality of the water supply. For individuals relying on private well water, additional steps may be necessary. Independent testing for pedichlorobenzene and other contaminants is advisable. Consulting with local health departments or environmental agencies can provide guidance on testing procedures and potential mitigation measures. Understanding the risks associated with pedichlorobenzene in water is vital for public health. By identifying and addressing the sources of contamination, adhering to regulatory standards, and implementing effective monitoring and treatment measures, we can collectively ensure the safety of our water supply. Whether through centralized water utilities or private well management, a proactive approach to addressing pedichlorobenzene contamination is essential for the well-being of communities. Please hit the like, share, and subscribe buttons below to support us if you like this video. Thank you and see you in next videos.